Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial X Famous Slain episode number 13 and this is the final episode of this anime. Alright, the previous episode um, we had a whole scene of Lane and Arisu them actually in interacting with each other Lane being like you know like with the, like Lane was kind of saying that we don't need our you know, real body like that's something like you know that is unnecessary in the wired like you know she was like kind of saying how you can exist without the real body all that stuff but Aisu kind of like, you know interjected in that and said that no it's not true you know kind of told her otherwise and uh, like yeah like that was like going on while the god suddenly popped out and he was like no lane <laughs> you know and lane kind of like kind of asked him back that are you really the god like you know uh, like you know are you sure that there's not someone above you and he also got confused like all these stuffs were happening he started i don't know what started happening to him he kind of became like a clump of weird things and that's how it ended and like you know lane and Arisu are kind of like you know in that same room and they're like those like different wires and everything were kind of sticking to them trying to grab them or something and yeah let's see how this ends and uh, what happens um I'm, I'm, I'm glad that actually Arisu and Lane kind of made up you know because they had like a real like you know kind of a strange relationship going on uh she was like the only friend Lane had the only real friend that Lane had so like it's good to see that they actually talked with each other and the whole misunderstandings kind of went away so that's good so yeah let's see how this how this anime ends and if we get some more answers so I'm, I'm kind of like you know i'm like most of the things are kind of cleared out now like i'm able to understand there are a few stuff which i still am a little bit struggling to understand but like you know most of the things is is quite clear now like the whole thing is understandable so let's see if we get some more clarifications or whatnot and uh, yeah let's see how this episode ends so without further ado let's get started uh this is episode number 13 of serial experiments like so I'll be putting the subtitles and the time I here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Okay. Am I here or am I there? Over there, in the wire, okay. Okay. Why will it just say that too? Damn. Whoa, whoa, that went creepy quickly. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, I kind of figured that out a little bit that uh, the thing that she said that I'm actually, I actually don't exist, but I actually exist in different people, you know, within different people, how they see me. So I kind of figured it was something like that. Like she, you know, she's like a rumor, an urban legend. So it's kind of like, you know, shedding a scat if you think about it. Like, you know, like she exists and does not exist at the same time. People who are aware of the existence, who are observing her, are probably aware of her or something like that. I don't know. Like, it's kind of interesting to think about it. And I think that she was saying that, then who am I? Am I... The one over there, is that the real me? Or the one over here, is that the real me? So... Why not both, I guess, you know? <laughs> She's saying that I'm neither of it, but... Why not both? Both of them are actually her, so... I don't know, let's see. Okay. 
Right, let's see how this ends. What? Ego. Oh yeah, this thing. My god. Yeah, this is weird. Oh my god. Ah, nasty. All the stuff are actually... Okay, everything's over. Oh god, her eyes are just bloodshot, kind of. Okay, she's still kind of... Whoa! Wait, it's... <clears throat> what all reset Wait, is she like taking away her memories or something? Oh my god, I think it is. Yeah, maybe she did something like that. Huh. Okay, who is coming out? What? Oh, so the mom and dad are back as well? Like, she said that it was reset. So I'm guessing everything's back to normal. Yeah, it is the mom and dad. The mom, dad and the sister, I think. Yeah, there you go. I think the sister was also there, but she went away. One chair is empty. Yeah, he's he's feeling like it, it's, it's empty, that someone should be there. The weird thing is that the door opened and we don't see anyone. What the hell is that about? Oh, maybe Lane is there, like no one's able to see her or something. She just opened the door. Like, every, all the scenes that they're showing, Lane was there before, we saw, we also saw this scene with Lane, but now Lane is not here. Or maybe she is, but no one is able to see her. Okay, weird thing happened here, like, this is like blood dropping, what was that about? That thing is still confusing. I still don't understand what the significance of that scene was, like, you know? Ah, uh, Aris is here. 
Yeah, she doesn't remember. That weird statue is still looking at. Oh no. Yep. She still has residual memories. Or who? Oh, um, that girl. What was her name? Chisa, Chisa. Oh, she so reset everything to before her death. If you don't remember something, it never happened. Yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing Lane kind of became that, that entity of the, like, you know, wired. Like, she's everywhere at the same time. She's kind of like a... In a way, you can call her a god of the wired, as they say. What? Damn, that's a cool looking. Oh, Lane is. Wait. Wait, is that the delivery guy, isn't it? Okay. Uh, this guy okay, we're showing they're showing us every all the characters you know wait oh is it, is it it's those guys aren't they yeah 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 <laughs> Still with the shades. <laughs> so they're doing the construction, cons not construction, but like these type of things. So I'm guessing they do have residual memories, you know? Like, you know, like stuff, even though they don't remember stuff, their experiences are still there inside them. So they're taking different decisions. What isn't remembered never happened. Memory is merely a record. Just need to rewrite that record. Oh God. Oh, wait, what? Okay, they're showing this scene now.
Okay, that lane. Yeah. Yeah, like now no one knows her and as 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 I said, like which 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 you don't remember never happened. So it's as if she never existed. Yeah, Arisu is a, uh, not Arisu, um, Isa. Dead people's information is only required. <laughs> yeah. You won't get any ideas. Okay. Huh. Oh. Okay. Not even the shirt guy. Yeah, true. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Where was it connected to? <coughs> yeah. From the beginning. Whoa. What was happening? What the? Okay. What is this?
Whoa! <coughs> That's creepy. Where is that? Okay, this uh, is kind of confusing me again. Memories aren't uh, the past. Tomorrow, like some deja vu or something? No. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Wait, it's... Wait, wait, this is... Is that Aris? This Aris isn't it? Is that the teacher? Wait, so we got a time skip? I think so. That's the teacher, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Student. Oh. Oh, so she's she's like a teacher now. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, true. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Um, it ended in a, not a weird, but in a confusing way. But yeah, I can kind of understand what happened. Like, you know, like she, she became this type of an entity as like, that's what I thought is she would become like, you know, because uh, like, I, I kind of thought it can go either way, either way. She, like, I, you know, like there was like two possibilities I was thinking about that might like, you know, the ending might, Take. The first possibility was she might become a 
not become but but start living as a human in her homunculus body and you know like 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 spend a normal life i thought that either it would go that way or she will become the entity like this like you know like she'll become the god as they say and she'll be like everywhere at the same time and be looking over everyone and so it went through you know the ending went to, through the second way that i thought it would and yeah like i thought like you know i would have preferred if it actually went through the root of her like you know becoming an actual not becoming but living as an actual human and you know living a normal life because that would be a lot more rewarding for her because that's what she wanted from the beginning she never wanted to become a god so that would have been uh what can i say a good way you know and a more preferred way i guess if this ended in that way but you know like it's kind of not like it's kind of difficult for like you know the anime to take that route because there would be a lot of things that they need to explain here for example since it's a homunculus body she wouldn't age you know she would be like that forever i guess and like all her, her friends will start aging like how would they explain that like there's a lot of like you know things that they would need to think about if they went to, in that direction so like you know like so that's why like you know like the most probable and the most you know like understandable way that they could do it is like make her such an entity that she becomes like a uh, omni uh, like you know like a like a god type of a being and uh, yeah that's how they did it so but in a way like you know like he was kind of bad for Lane because, as I said, like he never, she want, never wanted to become a god. She just wanted to have a normal life. But you know, like yeah. But still, I guess she's happy in a way. You know, like she's she's able to watch everyone from, <clears throat> and she's everywhere at the same time. And as she said, like we can meet again anywhere. Okay, so. Now the first scene where we see like you know like uh Lane like Aisu kind of breaking down you know, after seeing the weird things that are happening that that really shows that scene really shows that Aisu could never become a person you know of this side you know this 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 side this side of the wire you know where these weird type of stuff are happening she is a mortal human being and she's accustomed to normal stuff so she cannot come in this side and i guess that's what probably made uh, lane realize that yeah like this can't go on like i if i keep staying here and if i keep like you know like being in contact with i so i will have to face a lot of stuff like this you know and like i'll be involving her in my my problems you know my these type of problems so that's why i think that was like the main thing that actually uh you know that actually <clears throat> not forced but made lane think that yeah i need to think of a different way and that's why she probably came to the decision that yeah i'll i'll remove myself from everyone's memories reset everything and like you know that's that was the scene that we saw in the uh, after that like you know it's like something called like it says something like reset press and like return or something like that and at the i'm guessing you know at the, in a matter of seconds everything happened everything got reset it now <clears throat> the things we see here is first of all um i think they did not show us the sister that's one thing that i'm kind of feeling weird about like you know like the, we see the mom the dad you know and we also let's say like we see the sister kind of getting up and going away saying and the mom saying that she's in a diet but the weird stuff here is that they never show us the sister i don't know if that has like a bigger meaning or a deeper meaning behind it because they showed the mom and dad after that so why not the sister i think there is probably something in that scene which i wasn't able to catch properly but yeah and then we see the mom and the dad and the dad like looking at the empty seat and saying that yeah i thought someone you know she felt as if someone was should be there and then we see the train scene like all the scenes that we saw you know like before 
where Lane was there in the previous scenes. She's not here anymore. And we also see the, the door of the house opening weirdly, like, you know, just like how in, I think in the first or the second episode where we see the door opening and Lane coming out, but this time there was no Lane, only the door was opening. So I guess that was like an indication that Lane was actually there, but no one was able to realize that Lane was there. And even the whole thing with Arisu where she comes to school and the friends are like, oh, let's go to Siberia. And she's like, ah, let me, you know, call, like text, text her. And they're like, who? Text who? And then we see Chisa. Now I'm guessing Chisa kind of became a, uh, I don't know, like kind of became like a, not replacement, but a substitution for Lane. Because <clears throat> like this time Chisa is alive. So, you know, like that's why I'm guessing they, like, you know, Chisa is getting included in their activities now. And like, you know, they became, I'm guessing she'll become, the, become their friends eventually. Now, this really shows how, like, you know, that, that scene where the, the friends were saying, like, oh, like, why are you including her? Like, you know, like, even before this, you included her. And they're not happy with that. And, you know, but Aisu, like, you know, that, that means Aisu herself took the initiative and invited her before. So this shows that if Jisa was alive, you know, she would have probably been a part of the group. And this also shows us how Aisu is a very nice and kind individual because uh before this it was actually like you know chisa was in lane uh lane was in chisa's place and you know lane became like their friends and because arisu actually i'm guessing initiated the conversation and talked with her and she i'm, I'm sure she she was the one who took the initiative to uh like you know to become friends with lane and this this again this scene shows that even if lane is not here she would have probably done the same to some other like you know person who was probably lonely and suffering and here we can see probably chisa was probably suffering about something that's why she you know took her own life i guess and this time i'm get, like you know like seeing this scene i'm guessing like aisu uh like invited her to join them and after this like you know she being included with Arisu and she will become Arisu's friend and the group will have like you know kind of have fun in their own way this will probably prevent herself her from killing herself and this is only possible because Lane is currently not here because if Lane was here Lane would have probably taken her place and Arisu would have probably uh, not Arisu sorry I'm, I'm mixing up the names Chisa Chisa would have probably still been like you know like in, in that dark place that she is like i'm still not sure why she took her life that's one big question mark that is still here i'm not even able to understand if they actually hinted it you know and i probably missed it i'm not even sure about that but i'm guessing she was probably going through something you know and that's why she like came to a decision that yeah i don't need a material body i just you know like i will be alive in the wired or something and that's why she took her life so whatever Stuff that she is going through since lane was like you know here in this world she wasn't like she she was still she still remained in that place because arisu i guess never invited her you know because lane was there and now because lane is not here i'm guessing Arisu is inviting her you know and like chisa will probably start hanging around with arisu just like she and lane would and this will probably prevent her from killing herself. I don't know. I just think about it. I, this is just how I think about it. And Lane also kind of said in the end, you know, she said that people are not dying now, like, you know, in weird ways. It stopped. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay. And then we see different characters here, you know, uh, all the characters that we have been associated with before. Um, we see that those three kids obviously and then there we see that there's like a lady walking with her child they did not show the face here but i'm guessing this lady and the child is that lady you remember from the knights who you remember that lady that there's this lady and there's the child like the child who was playing video games and you know the lady was mem a member of the one of the top knights knight members i guess it's it's them 
they do not show us clearly but yeah okay and then we see the other guy now one thing i'm unable to recognize this the guy uh, you know the guy with her little sister is this the guy who killed himself you know in siberia is this that same guy or is it someone else or is this the delivery boy you remember the delivery boy which one of it is this i i i, I really cannot re remember the faces i think either of them but you know we can see him here i guess he also kind of you know changed not changed his mind but kind of you know like decided to no i don't know like yeah like she's spending he's spending her time with his time with the sister and we also saw those men in black and the other guy you know the men in black and is kind of doing other stuff and the other guy is saying that ah i'll leave i'll leave i'll <laughs> kind of muttering it so like i guess the reason why they showed us this scene here is because they wanted us to show uh, like wanted to show us how everybody like you know everyone kind of went in the in the wrong path and ultimately got killed in like you know in different ways but here i'm guessing they're showing us how like lane is not here anymore but i'm guessing you know the residual memories that they had before like you know the reset you know that it still probably lingers in them and that's why they're taking different decisions you know like like a weird sense of uh for like you know like a, a weird sense of unease and like you know some kind of deja vu or something that's why like you know we can see the different people going walking different paths paths that would probably not lead them to their death for example as we saw the men in black are doing other odd jobs now you know and they're probably not going to go back to the things that they did before and that's how they'll probably be still alive so it's, it's probably something like that you know like they died they don't remember anything about that because it all get got resetted but still it, it, it there's like an after like you know memory a lingering sense within them just like how people like you know how the dad and i who kind of thought that yeah like had lingering memories of lane the same thing like they probably also have the lingering memories of lane and some lingering memories of what is going to happen if they go in this direction that's why this time they're taking different decisions it's kind of like you know like if you have seen steins gate it's kind of like that like you know the whole steins gate plot in the end the reading steiner as okabe used to call it where everybody actually knows like you know what happened in the parallel timelines you know it's it's just that people like you know don't realize that they have that lingering feeling because of reading steiner okabe which office the okabe named it reading steiner the special power Okabe was able to recall all the mem different memories of the different timelines. So in the end, we get to see how Okabe says that everyone has the reading Steiner. It's ju not just me. It's just that people, like, you know, it's kind of hidden within them. And it's kind of similar to that, I guess, here as well, where it's, it's kind of like reading Steiner, that everyone remembers what happened, but they don't like, actively remember it. It's just like a lingering thing in their hearts which is compelling them to make different decisions now you know which will probably not lead to their demise so yeah this, this is just how i interpret it i might be wrong though you know like because <laughs> this show is is quite confusing you need to like take things like think about stuff on your own and like you know make up your own explanations and uh Okay, uh, so this portion, I, I'll, I'll read this portion again, uh, where Lane is kind of crying, you know. Uh, okay, the other Lane says, you have, uh, why are you crying? Because you've deleted yourself from everyone's memories. Uh, but isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> yes, but, and no one is uh, dying and no one is being hurt. Now... I guess in a way, the thing that she says here, uh, in a way is kind of, I don't know, like, you know, the, the main reason why, like, now that I think about it, the main reason that everyone was dying is kind of, like, you know, because of Lane in a way, wasn't it? Because 
uh, you know the whole nights kind of started because of lane because you know like the whole lane i don't know like so i'm guessing since lane has resetted everyone's memories and is not here anymore like no like you know, nothing like that sort is happening and that's why no one is dying weirdly you know because everyone kind of died started dying weirdly because with the whole involvement with lane in a way so that's why you know like i don't know like i think that's what she's actually saying i'm not sure no one is dying and no one is being hurt and no one hates you <sighs> yes but dead people's information isn't leaking out of the wired anymore dead people's information okay this this line is kind of confusing me what does she mean by this dead people's information isn't leaking out of the oh i'm guessing um those weird noises we used to hear you know in the middle of the episode like you know like there's like th those i think those were the actual thing that she's saying that information from the wider not leaking out anymore you remember those scenes in the middle of the episode like there was like in the middle of the same episode there was like a cut where like some people were talking about some completely random stuff like you know i'm guessing that's what she's saying those are like the information that was leaking out of the wire i don't know okay okay and then um so lane doesn't need to be anywhere anymore this is what you wanted isn't it you just sound like him him the man never existed no even if he does he won't get any ideas into his head about becoming becoming god okay lane says i'm not nowhere anywhere I, i'm nowhere who am i then where am i you yourself said it the wired isn't an upper layer of the real world okay that's what the man was mistaken about oh yeah that's what the, the god was saying and like you know like you need to you know like the wire was like the uh, yeah he was kind of talking like that like you know she was kind of acting as if the wire was like an upper layer like an elevated what do you call it no. elevated platform or something a network is a field to pass along information information doesn't stand still there information functions by always being in motion people's memories aren't just personal or one part of history or humanity in uh, people's memories are not aren't just personal or one part of history or humanity Hmm. okay so th she's basically saying that like it's it's not man the whole thing that you know they were kind of saying that it was like the upper layer that's not what that is because it's kind of impossible to make a thing just a sec Yeah, do you think that humans could create something that could store memory that's that vast? Yeah, like the shared consciousness is immense. And so she's saying that that's not a man-made thing. All right, so and then she's saying that the wire was just was something connect uh, was just connected to something else. but where was it connected to and then lane again starts becoming <laughs> becoming uh, ambiguous he says that do people really need to know that so i get this thing like yeah this this portion uh, what she actually says is that like this is not something that is man made or anything that we should understand because people themselves are not capable enough to make something so huge and so vast that it could store so much information so much shared memory shared consciousness so it's not it's something that is not possible so 
what was the wired then connected with you know like what was it then what was like you know the human consciousness connected with what is that thing and here lane says that you people really know, need to know that you know and look at how far they have come without knowing so basically she's here she's saying that that's something that is out of the realm of understanding of us humans you know so you don't need to know that without even knowing that thing you know we have come so far look at how far we have come so there's no need to understand that so basically she's saying that that's god's territory and you don't need to know that you know that's like the uh, what do you call that like the ultimate knowledge or something like you know like something that is still not possible for humans to comprehend like it's kind of going deep into this whole thing you know <laughs> this type of a thing and I'm, I'm really like interested like like how like a very interesting way of actually uh, telling a story like like so what the actual thing is like the thing that i was waiting for this all these 12 episodes like what is it like you know what is the actual thing you know like the actual main plot point of this like all these certain episodes i was waiting for it and in the third episode we came so close to actually grasping it but here lane says that no you no need to no need to grasp that because that is something that you don't need to know you can go f like you know like humans have cars come so far even without knowing that thing so it, it would it would be possible to go even further without knowing that so no need to know that that's something that's beyond your realm of comprehension you know that's something in god's territory so <laughs> i guess that's it like you know this is kind of like that you know like oh boy very i quite like this type of a <laughs> thing the way they kind of explained it okay and she says the humans uh, human world creates and prays to its various gods and humans convince themselves that is how the world is like another interesting thing here like she says that we don't know what is like you know the unknown we don't know the unknown there's a lot of things that we don't know and we probably won't be able to comprehend ever that's why we kind of give them like a form like we the, the gods that we worship and as she says like you know and we humans convince ourselves this is how the world is you know we kind of like you know like make up stuff in a way you know we kind of uh, convince ourselves yeah this is how the world is and to make it easier for us to understand to comprehend because these things that we, these gods and these type of stuff are something that is beyond beyond like you know something that we should be able to understand that's why we kind of make this these type of things up make up these things to convince ourselves and you know kind of make it easy for us to understand and uh, lane says that i don't like you saying this yeah even even if it's bad it's me and then she says uh, the whole thing about god like you know you can be a god you'll have to just wait and watch nothing else like, you know let's just reset everything and start you know again and lane says no here and the the thing kind of starts conversing and goes away i think that was probably lane's like you know own um objection to like you know things the things that she was thinking i don't know she kind of objected at the thought that yeah i should reset everything and just I don't know. That portion of kind of confused me. Okay, and then the next scene confused me even further. I don't really understand the whole thing with the section where the dad kind of calls Lane and talks with her. Like I'm, I'm sure that was not the real dad. I'm guessing that was probably like took a form of someone that Lane could rely on. Like you know, like the only person I'm all out of all these characters and uh, that Lane could rely on. You know was the dad like Isu was also there was Isu was there was as a friend but the, the dad was probably the only one who she could rely on in a way as as you know as 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 a parent you know she could like as a daughter she could rely on and i'm guessing like the last scene uh kind of shows that 
like you know like how i don't know like probably that's how she i'm not sure but yeah this that was probably like her own creation like she probably envisioned someone at that scene and the person she envisioned that would help her and like you know listen to her worries was her dad and that's why you know the dad sat down and started asking her like what's the problem and lane started saying that do you know like everyone like and the dad said you love them isn't that right yeah I'm, I'm still not sure about this scene i think this is also probably something that lane created just to you know become a child again like you know because the dad was the only person who in front of whom she could act as a child and i'm guessing that's what she did here i'm, I'm still not sure about this scene but yeah that's how i interpret it i might be wrong Like, this is like the only place where she could be herself, something like that. Okay, and then the next scene, uh, we see the... This is it. Okay, and then we get to the, the traffic you know, the traffic lights and that scene oh okay now len says here that just a second. so memories aren't only of the past are they they can be of right now or even tomorrow okay Okay, um, I don't know. Okay, now, was that like a time skip or was, was that, as Lane was saying, that memories are not only something that we thought about before, it's not only of the past, it can be right now or of the future. So is this like, like a memory of the future that she's seeing here? Or was, was that like a real time skip? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, now we see like, you know, like a grown up Arisu. Okay, and. Okay, so now this whole thing kind of shows us how she, like, you know, like uh, she says, like, uh, I, I get to pick the curtains for the bedroom. So I'm guessing they're together. And that's the teacher, isn't it? Or. No, wait. Uh, is, is this the teacher or is it someone else? I don't know. I, I'll have to check that out later on. Like, I'm not doing it now. I'll, I'll probably, after this video, like, I'll probably check it out if, that, if this really was the teacher. Because I'm not sure. I feel as if this is the teacher, isn't it? And I just like, you know, they're like kind of talking and laughing and yeah, it must be the teacher. I, I, I think it is the teacher. It seems like, so anyways, now I see sees Lane again, you know, and she goes and like, she says that I'd have you met before and <laughs> Lane's like, nope, this is the first time. And uh, yeah, so Lane kind of. You know, in everyone's memories who had interacted with them, Lane and who had like even people uh, who Lane had like a bigger um, effect on, for example, Aritsu, the dad, you know, and uh, they, they still remember Lane in, in, within their heart. And yeah, Aritsu was probably saying something like that, that have you met? But Lane says that no, we have not. And then they go away and uh, no, Isa says that we'll meet again and I, Helene is like, yeah, we can meet anywhere, anytime, anywhere, uh, any, anytime we want. Yeah, because she's everywhere now. So yeah, that was how it ended.
so in a way we kind of got a clear explanation not com completely clear but we understand what's happening now you know like the main plot points there are still first there are still places where i i still have not understood clearly you know still kind of kind of you know murky and blurry but i don't think those are important you know for at least for the main plot so the main plot is kind of understandable what happens and they kind of explain us to us in in, in its own weird way and you know like it, and we have to kind of rely on our uh, interpretation of this stuff as well so yeah that was interesting you know a really interesting anime i have to say because as i said this is something this show is something that you have to rely on your own way of interpreting stuff and it, it can that means it can be anything you know, anything that you want it to be and yeah it, it does not have a clear-cut answer and that kind of is the charm of this show and i've seen i've seen animals like this before but not at this extent you know like I, i've seen a lot of animals that kind of rely on your own way of interpreting stuff but by the end of it they kind of give us a solid explanation and you know like a uh, solid reasoning but this show is definitely not like that like you know even even in the final episode they kind of keep it to our interpretation they they give us an explanation they do give us an explanation but even within that explanation there's a lot of possibilities that you can think about and i really like that in a way i think um if i have to say i've only found one yeah with like you know excluding this only one other show or visual novel i should call it which is very similar to this where it's purely based on your interpretation which is umineko umineko no naku korori or um when the seagulls cry so um like you know that the whole ending of umineko is kind of like that where it's up to your interpretation how you think about it it is a really great i'm not sure about the anime i've not watched the anime but the visual novel is top notch and it's like more i, I think it has like a lot of content you know a lot of reading content it's like almost like more than 60 or 70 hours of reading content the, 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 like that's what they tried to adapt within a within an anime you know i think the anime had how many episodes 20 24 I think something like that so they tried to adapt 60 70 plus reading hours into an anime like that so obviously they would mess up in a lot of ways so that's why I don't think the anime is good you know it's like a subpar anime but the visual novel is a masterpiece and if you read visual novels you can go check it out it's 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 really good so I think Umunoko only did this thing this is like the only Umunoko was the only the thing that kind of uh, went through this route where it's like you know the ending is left up to your, your own interpretation there's a lot of endings you know and it's kind of like a closed box as i said schrodinger's cat you know if you keep the box closed the in the possibilities are infinite so what they did in umineko and this one kind of as well is they kept the box closed making the possibilities infinite the way you think about it but if you open the box it kind of like all the possibilities kind of go away and it becomes one you know the thing that you see is the cat alive or is the cat dead so unless and until the box is opened you, there, there are infinite possibilities it's kind of like that you know like they kept the box closed in uminakon and this in this as well in a way kind of you know even though there are a few explanations but umineko was more like that they completely kept the box closed so yeah the ending was whatever you think you want it to be that was the ending <laughs> it's kind of interesting way you know of storytelling and i like this so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to serial experiments lane this was the final episode i i had a, a bit of a <laughs> like hard time to understand stuff in this show all along but it was a really enjoyable experience i liked it quite a quite a lot you know these type of ambiguous stuff it's quite interesting to think about it you know and uh, yeah so that was a great that was a great ride so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say 
anything you want to let me know i'll check them out or if you have any other explanations or the way you actually thought how the enemy is or your interpretation on it like you can let me know in the comment section so yeah that's it guys okay so obviously this this is the final episode uh this 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 show is ending it has ended and i'll be replacing this with another show which is something that i always wanted to check it out and now that i have a time i'll do it is flcl or fully coolie you know and that's what i'm going to start from the upcoming week so yeah like i think it has like six episodes it's quite short it has like six episodes and there's like two movies i think so i'm going to check them out one by one you know and uh, yeah so from next week fully cooly is starting so if you guys are interested in that as well be sure to tune in so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day